That's right. Another edition. RSC Radio in full effect. Woo! Only here. KFAI, Fresh Air, Community Radio, 90.3 FM, Minneapolis, 106.7 FM, St. Paul. And, of course, online at www.kfai.org. Sadiq, Big Greg, DJ Nicholas. What's going on? What up? What What's like? up, y'all? How y'all feeling tonight? I'm feeling right, good, right, man. man. Hectic, but good. Yeah, we're getting a little late start here, but uh, yeah, yeah. it's all good. So, uh, tonight's a special night. Special. We are... Celebrating the release of Mm Food. Mm, dedicated. Follow up to uh, Operation Doomsday by none other than MF Doom, the super villain, Metal Fingers, Vic super, Vaughn. The super MF. So, uh, King Ghidorah. <laughs> yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. So, um, what we're going to do tonight is basically run down excerpts from an uh, interview done by um, Kevin Beecham. Good man, good man he is. And uh, also intertwine influences of Dooms, uh, you know, classic tracks, new tracks, exclusive tracks, uh, rare stuff, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything in, in, a, in a timely, chronological fashion as well. Yeah, we're going to run it down from Time. beginning to end. So we're going to pretty much take you up through the third base initial stages going on up through the KMD days, and then up into the MF Doom, and then on through the uh, Vic Vaughn's, the King Ghidorah's, the Mad Villains, the uh, all the way up to the Mfu. Mfu, yeah, that's about Hi. Okay. Hopefully that'll we'll, take, we'll take a little glimpse into the future as well with some words. So Definitely. And uh, we'll also be giving away some tickets to go check out MF Doom, Brother Ali, Psalm 1, going down Tuesday, November 16th at the uh, Quest. All ages, uh, 6 p.m. And um, don't forget a few other announcements before we get started. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, going down to Fifth Element in store with uh, Haiku. Haiku de Ta. Um, Mike and I. Abstract AC Alone. Abstract Rune. AC Alone. Yeah. Uh, Zion and I. Um, yeah. I don't know if Dell's going to make it to the in-store. Okay. But uh, basically, Cali Comp Tour in town tomorrow, and they're all going to be stopping by the Fifth Element doing a live in-store performance. So go down, check that Ooh. out. And then, um, what else? Hey, what else they, they need? What know? else more they need? All right. We're going to go ahead and get into this show. Hey, it's unbelievable. So big ups to villain. It's uh, FM Mood yes. tonight. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into this. Hit us up, 612-341-0980. Sit back, take the paws off your tape deck, and enjoy, all right? Peace. Mr. Magic, 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 Super, 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 Flash, Flash. I was just listening to the radio back, you know, back when, when the radio was playing stuff like Mr. Magic from um, Grover Washington Jr., like, like when those records first came out, like, um, like when they first came out, there was just like regular joints that, like how now the songs come, come out and they're doing it. Oh my god! That, I mean, most songs kind of involve like hip hop classic songs, like DJs go. You know what I mean? So I guess that would be considered my earliest hip hop memory. 
You know what I'm saying? But then hip hop is something that, that you know, was probably, was probably born with. It's just that it made feeling when you just want to bang a beat out, could be on the table, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but that, that's what I think my, my closest memory I could put into a frame of reference like that. Um, yeah, as far as rhyming go, I probably started rhyming in 83. Hands, everybody, if you got what it takes, cause I'm Curtis Blow and I want you to know that these are the words. <laughs> Well, no doubt, like at that time, Curtis Blow had to turn so He was the dude that was rocking. These are the breaks type shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. Roller rink, times, times when I, I was still too young to even go to the party, you know what I mean? But um, I do remember when it was going on. Um, that's, you know, I'd say Curtis Blow, uh, that's, that's the first MC that ever you know, struck me as like, yo, that's fresh, like, do, you know what I mean? But we was doing it before we heard that. It's something that, you know, like I say, we should just do for fun. Right. So please let here, I swear my voice is near and clear on puppy paws. You better be aware, my speech is unique, never obsolete. With mathematical terms to make it complete, elevated to a level that's kind of far. Comprehended by the wise, go my arms, do bar. Politics, electrons activate, constructive energy that does create a dynamic flow that's hard and swift, allowing me to get loose so y'all can bear with it. Everybody 
my cool and deli style. <laughs> So you can stop guessing if this is a kid or a written down memo. See, I am a professional. This is not a demo. In fact, call it a lecture, a visual picture. Sort of a poetic in rhythm, like mixture. Listen, I'm not dissing, but there's something that you're missing. Maybe you should touch reality. Stop wishing for beats with plenty bass. And lyrics set in haste. If its meaning doesn't manifest, put it to rest. I am a poet. You try to show it, yet blow it. It takes concentration for fresh communication, observation. That is to see without speaking. Take off your notes i am teaching the class or rather school because you need schooling i am not a king or queen i'm not ruling this is an introduction to poetry a small dedication to those that might know of me they might know of you and maybe you're gay but one thing's for sure neither one of y'all can hang because you i'm like an arrow and scott is the crossbow say something now so. you seem to be the type to only understand the annihilation and destruction of the next man that's not poetry that is insanity it's simply Far from reality, poetry is the language of imagination. Poetry is a form of positive creation. Difficult, isn't it? The point you're missing it. Your face is in front of my hand, so I'm missing it.
around the hip hop band to six renown. A musical flow with an added twist. And for your bellies, wives are gonna throw you a kiss. So break out the champagne, pop the cork. The year's 88, the town New York. The crowd is live and everything's okay. BBC, let the music play.
home, I mean soul. So make the gas please. <laughs> Damn it, looks could kill. You look like your host with a ghost from the throat, but still, what's the new fad to recollect to our passing phase? The back days, the 80s, death up on my label, is good. The street might have a cat, and no pick any card or no rabbit from a hat. Never a magician if I ever trick them. Oh, shit. Another gas face victim. There it is, yo, fellas, man. Why don't you step to the mic, man? Hey, yo, good looking out, Don, man. Peace. Juan G. Yo, who gets a gas face? I knew him for a while, like, maybe, yeah, I must have met him at a talent show, maybe in like, man, 86, okay. something like that. That's right, time, his first, his first solo record around that time, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and, um, you know, he used to come out to the town where we was at and rock, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, we kind of looked at it like, yo, word, that's fresh, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we knew this from out of time, it's from Far Rockaway. So what happened was he came back after a couple of years, close to like 88, 89, and was like, yo, I got this group, you know what I'm saying? I'm working with this cat, Pete Nice, and, you know, we got this deal on Def Jam. And he's always known as a cat who had found ways to put records out. He had uh, so a joint out on Idlers, I think, the label, Hey, hey Girl or Hey Boy or some shit. Some single he had out, but he had ghetto fame for that, so everybody knew he was putting records out, so we was like, word, I'm with it, you know what I mean? He's like, yo, get on the joint with us, and all that, and all that, and some of the stuff we was doing, and he was really feeling it. So, he took us on the management wing at that time, at the same time I did the guest appearance on that third base album. You know, and a couple of months later, the joint came out, did, you know, of course, court rec, the video was fun, you know what I'm saying, real... Nostalgic hip hop memories, you know what I mean? Right? <laughs> Check it. 
Home goes a kick. Check out how thick it is. The thumb presses quick. Summer's on the mix. The yeah, airbirds don't care. Yeah. Tell Brother X, I'm his ex. Took a look and so honest. What's the time it is? Time is to get my cock and do the rules of yapping. Uh -huh. Wake a couple heads with my core style rapping. Yeah. Time is a quarter shorter than an order. Be sorta. Tap in my line and just acknowledge me. Beats not baby fool with no fib. And I live from the Reverend Rip's crib. The lesson is, um. Yeah, songs that are true and thick. Yeah, all gods is no fib. I'm talking about the Nubian. Wait, that's yeah, the black man. Jeez. For sugar sweet snacks for the sour sap. To see whole, why should I have to check the maps? The haps is negative. I give many, many caps for a heavy, heavy gun. About a ton of ways to keep me busting off the days. As sure as every sucker pays. In time, tis mine. The cause as a whole with the base is ace of the bond. Evils in my midst bound to get crushed. Rush helps to manage the cause of much damage. So we go on and on, word born. Mics they get torn by the cause. Only Jimmy cracks corn boards. Head him gets no support. By the God Squad, God buddy for sure. Call me God boy. Yeah. Head not to this like a king of swing thing. Get check the verse out of spurs. See what I'm bringing as an ace in the hole. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Ace in the hole. Yeah. Ace in the hole. Actually, when KMB first started out, it was like a conglomeration of like hip hop, as far as like graffiti, break dancing, you know, the music side of it, DJ and rhyming. It was a whole like thing like that, like a little joint movement type of thing was kind of going on. But then, you know, as the music part started to kind of like be more dominant in the game. You know, that's the part that we really stuck to and really started perfecting. Once we did the first record, it was, um, originally it was me and my brother Sub, but then I just felt like it would be, it would, it would make it more, it would make a fuller, a fuller view of it. You'd get a better view of it if I had one other partner to help me convey the vocal side of things, the intellectual side of things, you know what I mean? Right. So, we called it Alex to get down. You know, at the time, he wasn't even rhyming or nothing. He was just like, my man, <laughs> crazy as hell. And I was like, yo, what's up? You ready to get in this group with him? He's like, all right. Started rhyming then. You know, we used to help him out here and there. And he held it down. He held his part down, you know what I'm saying? For the, for the role that I needed to play, he definitely did it right, you know what I'm saying? I used to wrap my hand around a cold gold can. So when one said help as well, so checks up. I got some perfect checkup, except for a hiccup, but with no stick up. How can I keep the Goya nectars on my shelf? Oh boy, how I search for an employer. Bumpy fuzz, yell, huckleberry fin was in Tom Sawyer. Now use your imagination just a smidgen. If I was a bird, I'd be a pigeon. Sick of wonder crumbs and pizza crust. When I be pelican, eat fresh fish and live fat like a pelican. Then again, that's only if you're capable for freckles or blue eyes. I sent him for heckle or jekyll while I took a at my man with the cellular phone. The only phone I own is a funky xylophone stone. Ain't no joy in annoying high pitch ringing. We do the tap twist and twist bringing through soul and this core. The thing I'm a jig shore. So rocks, clip with apps and clip to your wit. We'll do the gigs to make your mind thumb twiddles. The pipe, the bowl of us fillers. Don't let us, I'll even ride a bus to the coast if clear. For okay pay, I say I'm finna up I've been. Now all this running rounds kicking me right in the rear. And still I'm judged by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. And I'm able to hit a skin. Just like my man Pooba Maxwell. It was smooth. Yeah, can he get the job done with Joe? I take the division. <laughs> What's up, this peach for me? What are y'all talking about, this peach for me? What do you think it's saying? Man, come on, the hands of my chinny chin chin. Says black hairs. 
string by string, I think I count five pairs. That's a little, but still, can I get a thumbs up? At least for the peach for the thumbs up. A tip bit, get that tip, but who gives a sugar, honey, iced tea besides me? For if I ever rip, you and still, they be sick, they wouldn't build, so I take time just to kill. I say cute as for a bear, Teddy bear like Teddy Ruxman. Would I be handsome if I pimped and I touched him? Smoked a cigar with some black shiny shoes and picked up some friends in my bins and start cruising. Huh, that's a dream that I ain't even living in. If that makes a man, surely I recommend I stay a toy boy eating butterfingers. But now the salt and coloring books on my shelf. I want to grow up, because maybe if I did, then I wouldn't be treated like a Toys R Us kid. When they count 10 up on my chin, by the hands of my peach buzz, let's say each was an edge. Sight because I can't pull a pinch, it's a wrench, and I thought life would be a cinch. But anyway, anyhow, let's talk about some way, somehow, how to make my peach buzz grow up. Really, do I need a beard that goes with no pores, just to be respected and resemble Santa Claus? Hear this clear, I'm a man, I tell you. No dreams of drugs like the slugs will I ever sell you. A man I am in the body of a youth. So don't play me like I'm born universe, truth, truth. So when I'm out at your hearts, let me in. And judge me not by the hairs of my chinny chin chin. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool. He's He's nice it. Tonight, I'm saying. Yeah. Yo, I ain't no cork, so why can't I be a smooth my man Dr. York? <laughs> I see not. Yo, no, I'm smooth than the bottom of hammer shoes. After she got to spend. <laughs> no hair on my chest, but my boy I quest, I'm just smoother. I'm just yeah. smoother. Yeah. I'm definitely smoother than the guy you saw. Oh, so I see not. Yo, but I'm a man of some of this peace for us now. So I can't understand. Peace for us. Prior to the um to the release of Gas Face or, or that Cactus album, we was gonna get a deal somehow. You know, so there's new enough people. They had like a lot of inside people to where it was a deal. Deal was gonna pop up anyway. I think the Gas Face joint kind of just helped it along a lot. Okay. Um, it was Dante Ross who was the A and R at the time of the Tommy Boy, and the Daylight record just came out. Three Feet High Rising, and um. You know, Dante had parts with that, you know, as far as, you know, A&R in the project or whatever. So he had a little fame. And at first he was supposed to be on Tommy Boy, but then he left Tommy Boy for Electra. And um, with it, he brought the roster that he was putting together of, uh, um, at the time it was um, Brand New being Leaders of the New School and then KMD. And uh, I think people on the field smooth came on after, kind of. Yeah, they were the but, yeah. Yeah, but Dante had that, like, he had, that was his little, like, his little roster that he had, he was holding as a as a trump card, and when he get, you know, he used that to um to really get on with Electro and get that shit popping, and it was like a charm. Well, actually, the first time I heard, I have to credit that to um. Late Night Radio, back listening to, um, it was WHBI at the time, World Famous Supreme Team Show. Yes. Yeah. TV Bond and the Mastermind and Just the Law, the Superstar. You know what I mean? It came on like 3 o'clock in the morning. We must have been, man, I was young. I mean, too young to be staying up so late. If someone was staying up late like that, I'd be like, what you doing, boy, you know? But, um, it wasn't even like, what, 84 or 5 or something like that. And they, they used to do this kind of like segment on their show towards the latter, latter um, hours in the show where they'll just be spinning on hip hop like, like, like breaks, like uh, substitution and joints like that or like um, uh, funky for you and the little ill, Ill breaks. But then what they would do is play vocal records like, uh, um, you know, stand-up comedy records or, like, other type of records that, that have vocals on them over it, you know what I'm saying, or in the background. So you get the drums spinning back and forth, but then you get these little, like, comedy skits going on. And that's the first time I ever heard that, you know what I'm saying? So I got to give credit where credit is due. I kind of took that concept and just, you know, incorporated them to short little skits where we do our own beats. You know, and then put little vocal samples, snippets from other stuff to 
make a storyline or a short, uh, um, you know, like a short breakdown of what, whatever the scene is using other voices. You know what I mean? Cool. So was it pretty? Was it was it pretty difficult making it flow so well with the, with with the, with the character having you know, he does some pretty some pretty intricate senses and in the way to spice together. So was that pretty difficult to do? Well, yeah, you know, it's funny. It's like a, it's a little formula to it. It's kind of like the less you do, the more the more it makes sense. Like the less you try to do it, the more it does itself. Kind of like, you know what I mean? So most of the time, I'm just a spectator. I'm just digging, playing different stuff, and I'll just hear something that says, "Oh my God, how the hell?" You know, yeah, I'll be just as shocked, and I'll just put it in in place. You know what I'm saying? So it takes a bit of research as far as just you know recording a lot of different. Um, a lot of different, a lot of different like vocal, vocal pieces that that are rare. I don't go for like that, you know, stuff that you can find easily. It, it's got to be something bugged out, then it's the bugged out of the bugged out. You know right. Mean? So out of all of that, it kind of like does itself once you have enough stuff. You just continue to play around with it, and the story will tell itself. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived in the deep, dark jungles of Africa. His name was Little Sambo. Uh-oh, Zio's exercising his right to be hostile. He's always trying to say that cool is me. I don't understand, man. You don't understand. No, no. My temper, temper's up to like 10. I'll switch up his thoughts that I recommend. Minus his flood, but thicker is blood. Plus, still some stay stud like sticks in the mud. Ibuprofen from Lupus keep me from flipping daily. Yet I constantly slip into thinking... In my logo, you see us? Who the that cool is me? Who me? Who me? Holy smokes, I see it's a joke to make a mockery of the original folks. Okay, joke's over, but still a close over. Us with no love or no clover. This irritates us, so goes into my text to erase one N word complex. Some rock, it's the fuzz of what was, was, and any deck of the jokes on cuz does on top of my head stand seven thick hairs that even if i wanted to i couldn't pick pigment is this a defect in birth or more an example of the richness in earth lips and eyes i'm in a trace of all race does not take them 95 percent of one's face but still i see in the back two or three ignorant punks pointing at me oh, oh, me oh. Your party. But have you ever seen his brother walking around here anywhere? Oh, 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 Must be a missing person. Have you ever saw a space on a milk carton? Oh, tricky, oh, tricky. Oh, Must be part of the gas face series. The same one who started Black Cat Bad Luck Theories. Yeah, he done it. This place, he runs it. And I'm guilty. I'll contrast with 400. Judging not the unjust is where he slipped. The real guilty is filthy. He took Egypt. Blew the nose right off the sphinx. Now when he inks, ugly as when our hair kinks. We thinks, then zap goes the nap. Now I got good here. If that's good here, then bad's a hood here. Comb, twisted, dome, braided or faded. The first man played it, and now we hate it. Robbed of our culture, true indeed, I bear witness. And recommend this mental fitness. So get this loaded to me and pointed out a gold G. Then ask him, who you calling moon? Oh, no. me? Oh. What I say. Well, I'll bet it. Really that's tried. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's how I like it. Well, I'll no, bet it. Yeah, that's nice. Really tried. Oh, I made a mistake. Well, I'll bet it. Really tried. <laughs> All right, yo. Never what y'all swear? Well, I'll bet it. What y'all like this? Tried. Right. Two, you two. Be upset. Well, I'm tries to come across swift, not stuck up. Rise to minimize the puff up smooth. Rolling in a jazzy 
like groove, got nothing to prove though, just to show how I flow, like water through your kitchen faucet, notice the fine line, try crossing it, don't even pause it, I'm roaring like a lion, you duck, you're quacking, so who you trying to main, communicator CL, exact, sub rocks kick back, won't crack, you can't hack, range is point blank, but my page ain't, you see I speak bold print like black spray paint, and to the extra strength, new print cause I'm stressed, several tests, goddamn got blessed, so let it go, cause it'll just be another love TKO, so don't try me. Well, I don't bet they tried. Sections described from a plank, I'm a splinter. Tip off the new block, Zev Love X, spell it. And how I tell it will remain a relic. True, black and hard, but I'm no black stone. There's no presto in my manifesto, so take the L. Cause it can't take the ZL, neither the X. So I don't suggest trial while coming off is like a habit. So pardon, I'm too quick to smoke. Dance a six by the carton. I ain't starting having it, so rock is not venomous. He's more an antidote, searing when you're hearing him. So listen up, listen closely. Who's supposed to be coming off if we're not? What I mostly see is scrubs boasting free, but the low key X marks the spots. Don't cry. Well, I don't bet. I tried. I can never do that. Well, I don't bet. I tried. One for the disarrange, two for the duration of time. Ticks and ticks on as I speak. Three for the hard way for reverse pay. No need for a nine to five week by weeks of love is for the birds. I say the ducks, but birds, if you will, say first on my jock. Through Rift Productions, we make bucks and still kill two birds with one sub rock. You wish to go around on this dance stick, mister? This we can do like Mr. Muggle. List your bets. Has eight cards in your odds. A stitch in time will save nine yards. But if one is ripped, how can one expect to sew the shop with an 80 decker? I think you need a new soul and need a my friend, so try, try again, but don't try. Well, I don't bet. I try. For a cigarette, cigarette, speechless. I figured it. I understand. Following the leader is a sense and sucker town. Cause every inch I move, they flinch. Nerve pinch strain on my brain from migraine pain. Damn, it's my turn to explain the rules of the game. Why me? Well, if that once you don't succeed, don't try me. Well, I don't bet. KFAI's fall record sale is Friday, November 12th through Sunday, November 14th. Thousands of new and used records and CDs will be on sale with all proceeds going to benefit KFAI. The sale will be held in the parking lot behind KFAI and Midwest Mountaineering as part of the Midwest Mountaineering Outdoor Adventure Expo. The KFAI fall record sale, Friday, November 12th from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m., Saturday, November 13th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sunday, November 14th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Midwest Mountaineering is located at the intersection of Cedar and Riverside on the West Bank. For more information, you can call 612-341-3144, go to kfai.org, or check out midwestmountaineering.com. Bert, is that you? <sighs> oh, an empty place. Oh, I love it. A perfect place to practice the exciting art of humming. Bert? <laughs> Ten oh three p.m. RSC Radio in full effect. Only here, Cafe I Fresh Air Community Radio ninety point three FM Minneapolis one oh six point seven FM Saint Paul. 
and online at www.kfai.org. We about not quite halfway. Getting there. We got past uh, the first KMD album. We get into the next one in this next segment. This is the MF Doom Um Food FM Mood Radio Show. If you're just tuning in, two hours, two hours of nothing but MF Doom and his influences, his influences, his alter egos, his everything, his production, <laughs> his, his rhyming, everything that pertains to Doom on a musical level is being um, noted here. That's right. Mm food in stores, eleven sixteen this Tuesday. Yeah. In stores everywhere, mm food. Uh, also appearing live at the Quest nightclub Tuesday, November 16th with Brother Ali, Psalm 1. And uh, that's at the Quest, 5 p or 6 p.m., all ages. And uh, also don't forget tomorrow, Calicom in store, going down in Fifth Element. All that, all and that. Don't forget to come to the show. We got, you know, the, the album will be there available as well. Some um, some rare things you may only see on this tour. Yep. In the form of T-shirts and rare CDs and all that good stuff. So don't miss out coming out to the show and, and get a hand, you know, hands on those. Yep. Also, if uh, if you pick up a copy of mm, Food over at Fifth Element, uh, while supplies last, you also get to cop a... Uh, Mm food poster as well as the uh, mm leftovers exclusive CD. Yeah. So uh, it's got a bunch of outtakes, uh, remixes, and uh, stuff that didn't go on the album. So check that out. And uh, why don't you run down kind of like what we went through a little <laughs> bit of you know. All right, I'm trying to explain how how this is working. I'm, I'm sure everyone's out there is um, very intelligent and is able to keep up, but it might get a little confusing in some parts. We were even confused here in the studio. Um, we started off with um, the intro to the album, Mmm Food, into the song, Beef Rap, as well. That kind of, like, gave a good synopsis of what Doom is all about. That was a good way to kick it off. And then we went to um, the Bob James Mardi Gras track we talked over, and that was because if you listen to um, the words of Doom himself, he spoke about how listening to radio and songs like that were his biggest influence. And um, throughout the whole night, you'll be hearing Doom's own words on these songs and his career, uh, the interview that I did with him um, just a couple of days ago. Following that, went to a little Houdini Sex and Magic Swan that explained about more about the radio thing. We had Curtis Bolt, The Breaks. We had Just I, Cole, Cole Getting Dumb, KRS, Poetry, Ultramagnetics, Funky. We had DBC, Let the Music Plays, It's a Sonic, all those being some of his biggest influences. Into his first appearances, we had Gas Takes with Third Bass, the, um, him talking about Third Bass and how that came about. Ace in the whole third base with KMD, produced by KMD. We had him talking about performing of KMD in the Peach Fuzz from Mr. Hood, the first scene from Mr. Hood. Uh, we had him talking about the deal with Electra and also explaining how the whole concept was with the characters. Um, Mr. Hood, the character, and the Burt character through the whole album of uh, Mr. Hood. Into Who Me, the second single from the album. Into Trial and Error, one of the, the first solo uh, Doom song on the Mr. Hood album. Into... Um, where we are right now. <laughs> and where are we going now? I think we're, we're taking them into Black Bastards now. Yes, right now we're going to take him to the Black Bastards. We're going to first let him tell you in his own words about the difference between Mr. Hood and Black Bastards. And we'll jump to the first single from the album immediately following that. And then we'll be back. Yeah. RSC Radio in full effect. Hit us up 612-341-0980. Yeah, but it's really like this thing, yo. Let's show them the raw side. Let's show them the fact they don't know about us, you know what I mean? I mean, the first time was cool. We, you know, we hit the mark over the shot. Hey, you know, real positive direction as far as, like, the messages and whatnot. But, you know, everybody grows and changes. So we was going through a lot of changes at that time. Adolescence going from... I think I'm on about 18, going to 19. We both had our first child, you know what I'm saying, during the, the in-between time, you know what I mean? So, a lot of things going on, you know, that we needed to report on, you know what I'm saying? And uh, and that's how we were approached it, like, yo, 
no holds barred. Let's just bring the raw. We already bought the store part of it. Baby food, we're gonna bring them with the adolescents going now. You know what I mean? He was a nigga yesterday. He's a nigga today. And he's gonna be a nigga tomorrow. What a nigga, yo. Yo, a nigga knows the game. What a nigga name, Black. Like the flick slate, what a nigga click V. The core, CM crew, what a nigga do. Let the monkey out the screws on my back now. Repeat, I'm black. A biggie, not a biggie, past that 40, man. I'm tapping the swig. Save this for after the game, you dig. Buds like figs, pick out sticks and twigs. Like suck, pick out wigs. I shake like a shake. Oh. Self love X, I be sex like swipe. So crank up the cups and get some ups. Pull the ziggy ziggy. I got the gusta rock the mic and grab my nigga nigga. One, two, sound off, clumsy. Finna foot the script like round off, summy. Yummy to the two. That monkey she constipated for me, Jimmy, Jimmy Roman. Now, where my money at, fat? Living like that Ziggy from the Bunny's Cat, yeah. We won't be in the papers. Me from pulling cables with a gat is like that. Like, it's a little rhyme and whatnot. But the thing that, that really got me about it was that 
Kane had just ripped some ill shit, you know what I'm saying? He got a little, you know, he didn't get too much of a response from it. Then this guy comes on there, and just from the fact that he was a TV celebrity, you know what I mean? And his verse was whack, it was short, it was kind of whack. It was like, you know, you know, nothing to really be a part, no, the whole crowd is going crazy. Uh-huh. And, you know, at the time his show was on, so I'm like, oh, that's fake, yo. But I had to just... I had to pull the file, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to clear the air on that one, you know what I'm saying? You know, but it's not personal. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That ain't gone. That ain't gone. Like right after we finished the joint, matter of fact, you know what I mean. Sub had already went back to the essence, was acting a little bit. 
lights don't fix the stucco. So come get the mic is in my knuckle. So I keep my fist full of poppers. My grip is on my pistol and pocket. Niggas be blowing, but be annoying like whistle rockets.